Hi friends, my name is Raj and you are watching TechWide. So in this video, I will show you how to fix this error. There was a problem with your device connected to your PC. That means the problem with your hard disk. Okay. And you can see the error code as well. So in this video, I will show you how to fix this issue. So let's start. First, turn off your computer or laptop or open your BIOS. I am using a Dell laptop. So in Dell laptop, you have to press F2 function key to open BIOS option. And if you're using a HP laptop, then you have to press escape or F10 key to open the BIOS options. So let's start first turn off your laptop. Now turn it on again. And then press F2 key to open BIOS options. In Dell laptop, you have to press F2 function key to open the BIOS options. So this is my BIOS options. First, you have to check your hard disk status. So go to system information. Okay. On the right side, I will show you my hard disk status. And here you can see primary hard disk it's showing 120 GB SSD that means there is no physical issue or hardware issue with my hard disk okay if your hard disk is not showing okay or it's showing none that like this that means there is a issue there is a hardware issue with your hard disk in that case you have to check your hard disk physically try to reconnect your hard disk physically okay or you can choose this option load default or if you are using a HP laptop then you have to choose a factory default setting okay I will show you if your hard disk is not showing or it's showing none in that case you have to try to load the default settings okay like this if after loading the default setting your hard disk is still not showing or showing none so that means there is a hardware issue with your hard disk. You have to replace or try to reconnect your hard disk. Okay. So in my case, my hard disk is showing. Okay. And there is no hardware issue. Okay. If I still getting the issue, that means in that case, I have to install a fresh uh, operating system on my laptop. So I will try to check, save and exit. So you can see windows logo is showing that means my issue has been resolved now after loading the default settings. So if you are still getting the blue screen error and your hard disk is showing in BIOS properly in that case you have to install a fresh operating system on your laptop it will fix your issue. And if your hard disk is not showing in BIOS or it's showing none, that means there is a hardware issue with your hard disk. In that case, you have to try to reconnect your hard disk or you have to replace a new hard disk. Thank you. Thanks for watching TechWite. Have a nice day.